What's almost always going to get you porosity is whenever you weld a process that needs shielding gas. Uh, TIG, MIG, flux core, dual shield. You're going to end up needing shielding gas. So I didn't turn my gas on at all. Porosity every time. This being no gas, there's porosity absolutely everywhere. And that's going to be scattered porosity if you want to give it a name. Now let's see about turning the fan back on. Full beans. Now mind you, that fan's still, I don't know, 12 feet away or so. I'm just trying to see what I can get away with. Oh, yep, sure enough. I can bury my nozzle and get a lot closer and be okay, but if I take that contact to work distance out to something normal like 3 8 there's definitely porosity in that weld. I bet there's underbead. Oh yeah, some good evidence right here of some maybe crater porosity or cluster porosity. The breeze is coming by and knocking it away or we're moving too far away with our contact to work distance. The first thing I would do is either turn that fan off or go see if my gas bottle is either low or getting close to empty or I can turn my gas up.